Black holes and wormholes. Black holes occur when a star grows old and large enough it implodes and creates a deep gravity well in space-time. Black holes swallow matter and energy and invert them into equal quantities of antimatter and so-called dark energy. This inflates a relativistically smaller singularity to form a baby universe inside each black hole. Wormholes occur on the surface of black holes event horizons and result in deep space gamma ray eruptions occurring apparently at random. These gamma ray eruptions occur in between them when spiral galaxies formed around the equators of black holes align with one another. In this diagram we see the poles of a black hole emitting gas jets that circle around in the deepest voids between galactic filaments to form baby universes. The angle of the gas jets bending around at which a baby universe begins to form is given as theta, the same as the interaction of the photoelectric effect in quantum mechanics. As theta approaches zero, the gas jets arc further and further out into deeper and deeper space, encompassing larger and larger arcs, interacting with and connecting them gravitationally to other distant neighboring galaxies. Here we can see how this process relates to our own Milky Way, wherein the same gas jets that form the deep space baby universes, such as that on the left, connect in shorter arcs, such as those on the right, to our own star's poles, and from there to those of our planet, etc. In this picture, we show the gravitic wavelengths connecting our star to the black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. In green and blue, at right angles to one another, we see positive gravity waves A and B combining to form positive gravity field A in red. As the gravity waves emitted from galactic core by the central black hole there pass through our star, the Sun, they result in occasional reversals of the solar electromagnetic poles. Just as wormholes form on the surface of black holes at the cores of spiral galaxies, so too does the sunspot cycle reflect the effect on the north and south oriented magnetic poles of the black hole and all its galaxy stars. As the north and south poles of the galactic core's black hole process over time, they alter the effects on the sunspot cycle of their galaxy's stars that eventually result in electromagnetic polar reversal in stars and their accompanying planets. As the poles process their orientation over time, each electromagnetically reverses with respect to the others. For a planet in a roughly circular solar orbit, and for a star in a spiral galaxy, there will be a total of eight planetary pole reversals per every four solar pole reversals per each single pole reversal of the black hole at galactic core. EM pole reversals of the gas jets of a black hole at the core of a spiral galaxy occur when one galaxy aligns with another at a right angle. When the gas jets of two distant black holes align at right angles, a wormhole forms between our own universe and a baby universe between them, resulting in a gamma ray explosion in deep space between these galaxies. When an EM pole reversal occurs for a black hole in the center of a spiral galaxy, it promotes the precession of the polar axis and also results in a rippling effect as all the rest of the stars outward from the core of the spiral galaxy undergo an EM pole reversal at their own intervals. When two galaxies align at right angles from one another's core black holes, the galactic core's black holes poles reverse 
and from there the pole reversal emanates outward toward the other planets in the galaxy's spiral accretion disk, affecting first each star, and then the planets of each star, and finally the moons of any such planets that have any. Advanced Metaphysics, a lecture by Jonathan Barlow Gee.